Hey everyone, this is the February 2016 Apaca Box Review. Uh, this is the Ignis box, that's why it's orange. And uh, we're going to be going over some of the items in the box today, and I'm going to show you how to use them. In case you don't know, the Apaca Box is a bi-monthly subscription box service. It always comes chuck full of uh, different survival items, and lately they've been themed over the past, I would say, three or four months. Uh, like I said, this is the fire box. And what we've got here, uh, just to start it off, is the Whiskey Ferro Rod. Oops. This would be the, uh, the lens, the super lens. We also have the fire scratcher here, uh, the flint and steel kit, which is in the gray bag in here in this tin. The, this is the uh, mega Frenzel lens. Fresno lens? Frenzel lens? Uh, the pocket wick. We also have the, uh, the tinder tubes and the fire chucks. So I'm going to show you guys how to use all these things and uh, let's get started. All right, the first item we have up is the Whiskey Ferro Rod. This is, without doubt, my favorite item that came in this month's box. It's also kind of the big item, replacing a knife this month. Um, as you can tell, it has the giant ferro rod here. This is the biggest ferro rod I think I've seen. And Creek has crafted a handle here made out of the uh, whiskey barrel staves he's been using for his whiskey knife series. So this is actually the perfect complement if you have one of those knives. Now you got the ferro rod to come with it. Um, I did check, you cannot buy this on the Apaca Box store or creekstewart.com or willowhaven.com. So you had to be an Apaca Box subscriber to get this. Um, another thing is it's really big, so it's great for maybe campsites or if you're leaving this around the house if you like using a ferro rod for that. It's heavy and like I said, it's, it's the, because of the size, I actually wouldn't use this backpacking or in a bug out situation. Um, but I don't really think you'd want to use it for that because it's more of a reserved uh, sort of situation. This is something kind of cool you want to keep out and use all the time. So Creek does include this little blade in here. Normally I just like to go with the uh, back of my knife when I'm camping or outside. Uh, so let's see if we can try and pry this thing out. All right. Little tiny blade is out. Kept in place by a small magnet. I do like that. We do have to take the black uh, covering off of the ferro rod, so let's go ahead and give this thing a try. There we go, we're starting to see some sparks there. So I got the blade out, I've already taken off some of the black covering just to make this go by a little quicker. And I've tried using the actual blade part of this uh, chunk of metal, and it's really hard to kind of get a good uh, spark out of it, so I'm using the side of it now, and that way you can already see it's throwing big sparks. Let's try just setting it in there. The second item included in this month's Apaca Box is what Creek is calling the Fire Scratcher. Uh, however, it is just a regular back scratcher. I wasn't super excited with this item when I first saw it. Um, it's kind of a like a neat little tchotchke. It does have the retractable sort of length, so you can get way down deep in your back or your fire. The idea being that you can uh, scrape around inside the hot coals of a fire and move it around to where you want it. Um, until I actually read the instructions on this thing and realize that if you take the plastic handle off, there we go, don't need that, uh, the fire scratcher is hollow on the inside, making it essentially a pocket billows with a little rake on the end. Now that's pretty cool. Um, so now you can get into that fire, blow down in the end in here, you can get way down deep in your fire and blow. And as you're blowing your embers around, maybe scrape them to where you want them if you're working on a big old bonfire. So, not bad. Also, back scratcher. All right, the next item we have here is Creek's Flint and Steel Kit. Uh, the first thing I want to say about this is this is a canvas bag, super heavy duty, so you can definitely use it again for something else. Got the nice thick ropes on here. And he has a demonstration of how to use the flint and steel with the actual dictionary definition of it, which I kind of like actually. Let's go ahead and open up this bag. And inside, there's a, uh, I think it's, mm, I don't know, maybe three inch diameter 10. It does not have a perfect seal, so you don't have to drill a hole in this if you're gonna use it for charring. And inside, we have the Whiskey Striker, uh, called the Whiskey Striker because it, again, is made out of the whiskey barrel staves uh, that are, you know, uh, fired on the inside to get that smoky flavor in whiskey. Creek's been using this for uh, his whiskey knives, and as we showed you earlier, 
the ferro rod. So again, part of the matching set, and you can't buy this online, even at Creek Store. So this is a one-off, and if you have the knife, this is a great little addition. We also have some uh, furniture piping here, 100% cotton, so it's gonna make some awesome char rope and a piece of Texas Flint. Now my piece is already chewed up because I tried doing this before starting the video and I don't know if it's because it's a sunny day but I wasn't able to see any sparks and what I ended up doing was actually chipping away at my rock, my piece of flint. Every strike took a, another little bite out of the flint. So we've got this groove in here from when I was doing it earlier. We have a groove in here from when I was doing it earlier. Um, I think it just needs to be wore down a little bit. So maybe it just takes a lot of practice to kind of get this metal where you want it to be and the thickness of the flint where you want it to be because the pieces I was chipping off were pretty thin. I um, almost feel like you could break them off with your finger. Definitely worth a try and it is a skill that if you're into survival could be useful. I'm not in Texas, so I don't have a ton of Texas flint around to practice this on. Um, but a skill worth knowing nonetheless, and if you collect the whiskey knives, you definitely want this thing as well. The next item we have is the Mega Fresnel Lens, and I'm actually kind of trying to be careful of where I hold this thing, because as soon as you hold it up to the sunlight, you're getting a real, whew, real hot <laughs> beam of light. It is sort of a ridged, uh, sort of plastic here, and I always like trying to see where Creek gets his items, uh, where he's repurposing popular items for these boxes. And I don't know where he found this thing or what it would originally be used for. Um, and I've tried a couple different ways of uh, harnessing the sunlight. You gather up a ton of sunlight in this lens, but actually just kind of holding it straight. You don't really have to bend it all that much. And immediately as we hold it over the paper here, we're getting smoke. I mean, this thing is hot, 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 hot. Look at that. This is barely taking a few seconds. Blow on a little, get our fire going. And look at that. Woo! So far this has been the most successful fire starting technique we've got in the box. Only a couple seconds and we're getting some flames going. All right. So uh, I will say this isn't the kind of thing I would just easily pack up because it is kind of big. You wouldn't fit this in a wallet. But if you could uh, put this in your backpack with the sleeve on it, I think, you know, you're going to get a lot of use out of this thing. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this fire going any further. Oh, I can hear it. There we go. Look at that. All right, the next item we have is the pocket wick. Uh, we got a little tender to go with all of our fire starting techniques. And uh, the more I play with the thing, the more I actually like it. It is 20 feet of hemp cord wrapped in beeswax. And I thought this was actually kind of cool. We got all the ingredients right here, hemp, beeswax, and love, aww. And sales support honeybee charities, which is something I think is great. There is not enough honeybees. Uh, so we can go ahead and unravel a bit of this. And it is exactly as advertised. It is a piece of hemp rope wrapped in sticky, sticky beeswax. Uh, you can also use this to wrap a handle on like a knife or a tool of some kind, and you always have a little bit of fire tinder here. But uh, let's cut off a piece and just go ahead and process it. There we go. And uh, let's tear this thing down. It's a little hard because it's sticky. There we go. Now you can also use this as a wick for a makeshift candle as well as a hand wrapping on a tool. I don't know if I'd like this as a hand wrapping, it's a little sticky, um, but I guess it would hold up really well to weather. Alright, so this is as far as I was able to process that little uh, two inch maybe piece of uh, the pocket wick. And to just get this rolling, I'm going to use my new favorite fire starting tool, the Frenzel Lens. Look at that thing. Ooh. Ooh wee. We start a fire. This is not starting the way I would uh, like something coated in wax like this to start. Usually I go with the uh, petroleum covered uh, cotton balls and those start off real nice and quick. We got some smoke coming now. So it looks like it started to burn a little bit. I do see some discoloration, uh, but I'd like to give it a little longer. I feel like this, we're just, we're just not hitting the potential of this thing yet. I think maybe the beeswax on it is so thick and it's kind of sturdy that 
it's just not letting us get to the hemp fibers. The Mega Frenzel lens, solar powered. It's a lot like Birdman. All right. Got this thing smoking now. See it's starting to light up a little. All right, let's be realistic here. Maybe you're uh, in a survival situation and you don't have your Mega Fresno lens on you. None of your friends decided to bring theirs either. Uh, so we're gonna have to go with a fire starting technique that's around, uh, at least where I live, where there's tons of grocery stores. That's right, the Bic lighter. And even with direct fire applied, there we go. Now it's burning. Now it's going. Pocket quick. Great size, neat little product. Uh, I don't know if I'd use this in a sort of survival situation where I'm using flint and steel and ferro rods and Fresnel lens, uh, but for all you campers out there and survivalists, this is great. All right, the next item we have are the friction fire chucks. You use these for your hand or bow drill techniques. And the way this works is you find yourself a nice piece of uh, wood or stick that you want to use for your hand drill or your bow drill and these are the pieces that go on the end to make sure you've got the best kind of wood for making contact with your base to start the fire. Um, the way it works is we've got some machined pieces of aluminum here. We have a small one and a big one and they have a little stopper in there and then we have our pre-whittled bits and our blanks and the way it works is we take one of our aluminum bits here and we can just slide the wood piece into our metal and that's what you're using to start your fire. This is a neat little idea. Uh, again, I don't know if this piece of kit would actually go into a survival box. I think the whole idea of doing a bow or hand drill is that you can make it out of stuff that you find. We're just talking about more space in a box, but really uh, it's all pretty lightweight. So it doesn't take up that much room. And if you have trouble with the bow drill technique, as I know I do, uh, this might be your solution. So, pretty cool idea. Uh, I always like getting these little kits from the Apaka Box, so great job. All right, the last item we have in the Apaka Box this month is the Ignis Fire Tubes, and I'm gonna be honest with you, this is the one item in the box I was not super excited about. Um, they are kind of made of a brittle plastic here with a red plastic stopper. Um, and the, I think the idea being that if you have an ember at your camp and you need to move campfires, and you don't want to have to start your fire all over again, you could put your smoldering ember in here and carry it to your new location. Uh, we've also seen people put dry tinder in here, although I'm not entirely sure these are waterproof. So I think if you're going to keep dry tinder somewhere, you'd want to keep it waterproof. Um, they are made of a brittle plastic. I have my little, little one here is already cracked. My big one here is cracked at the top. Um, and it feels like just not a lot of pressure could actually crack these things uh, completely broken. I've also seen people put their needles from the Tyaga box in here, but again, I don't know if I would want these in my pack because if I just tripped, fell, or something crushed in my pack, I would have broken shards of plastic and needles all over my bag. I feel like this one had a potential to really get a fire going, but the best one we had, without a doubt, was the Superstar Mega Fresno Lens. Look at that thing. Even magnify the newspaper and see what Creek's reading in Indiana. Go ahead and Look at that, already. Ugh, this is my number one Christmas gift item this year. The scourge of ants.